All right, my friends, welcome to another video. I think I've said in previous videos that I think fish are way better meteorologists than humans will ever be. I think that they can tell when a cold front or a warm front's coming. I think they can tell when rain is coming. I just think they have the ability to predict the weather way better than we do. And you can tell when a storm is coming because fish prepare for it. And you can tell fish activity is different. What we've got today is we've got about 70 degrees right now. But starting tonight, we have a huge cold front coming in, the biggest one of the year, kind of like last year when Texas had that snow apocalypse. We've got another one coming, but shouldn't be anywhere near that bad, hopefully. We're talking lows into like maybe the high teens, the low 20s, which is very cold for Texas. But like I said, I think these fish are gonna prepare for this cold front. We got the last nice day today. Tonight's gonna get down into the low 20s probably. And I think that fish know that's coming and they will prepare for it. So what we're gonna do today is try and capitalize on this incoming cold front and hopefully fish are preparing for it. We've got this beautiful dock right here. Sometimes there's crappie under it. We're gonna see if they're under there today. Just gonna skip my lure up in here as far as I can and see what I can catch. Hopefully there's some fish preparing for this huge cold front coming in. Thank you guys for watching. I've got my Cast King Zephyr 1000, perfect little spinning reel for what I'm doing here. Casking wide eye power jig rod and four pound line. We've got a 132nd ounce jig head here with a Mr. Crappie plastic on it, and we've got our four pound line. And what I'm gonna try to do is just, just like that, skip, skip, skip my little jig as far up under here as I can and try and get big. Yes. Oh, be a crappie. Oh, be a crappie. If that's a crappie, it's huge. Don't be a bass. Ah, stinking bass. At least it's a big bass. Come here. <laughs> Man, that was a three pound cracker for a little bit. Not bad. We cast it in there and got a big thump. Oh, that's a crappie. Oh, that's a massive crappie. Oh my gosh, dude. Come here. Yeah. Oh, look at the size of this freaking thing. Look at the size of this crappie. I literally, I've been casting in there for 10 minutes. We got that bass on one of our first casts. Had nothing happen after that. Then cast it in there and this, this is just absurd. I shut the GoPro off, felt this thing bite on the cast right after I shut the GoPro off. <sighs> felt the bite, set the hook, knew it was big, turned the GoPro on, expected it to be another bass. Wow. <clears throat> Guys, this crappie is just absurd. Look at this, so beautiful, what a monster. Oh my gosh, it's so deep. It's got such a deep body to it. What an insane fish, I'm so stoked. Oh man, <laughs> yes. This is one of the biggest ones I've ever caught in Texas, for sure. 
the mouth on that is crazy. White crappie seem to have way bigger mouths. Casting wide eye rod, casting Zephyr 1000 reel, perfect crappie combo. All right, that's not the biggest crappie y'all have seen on this channel, but it's probably the second, maybe third biggest. It is just massive. She's gone. Oh my gosh, sitting there looking at my phone and something took off with my bait. Teach me to mess around. A little bass. Call your crappie friends. Come back. I know it was just a bass, but still. Got it. Yes. Oh, another fish. Can't believe it. This took so long. What is this? It's a bass. It's probably that one that tried to hit our bait. Little fella. Well, my friends, it's gonna be a short video. Um, I've been sitting here for about two and a half hours probably caught the four fish that you guys saw the one big bass two little bass and the huge crappie so my hypothesis about fish moving up into places like this and binging before the storm I mean it kind of worked what I really expected to happen was there to be a ton of crappie sitting under there I'm surprised that there's not the water is still very cold we're talking mid 60s which is cold for down here high 50s mid 60s I would say so it is a little bit too cold maybe for there to be a ton of crappie up in here. I know that they wouldn't be spawning, but I thought maybe they'd be feeding a lot more up in here. And they just weren't, which is weird, but that one absolute monster was. And that is a huge crappie. I'm so stoked I caught that guy. And what I got to thinking about was that that fish was not full of eggs at all. It's way too early for it to have eggs. It didn't have spawning colors or anything like that. That fish was that fat just feeding on shad. So it got me thinking that if I can catch that fish or her sisters or her older sisters in spring when they're actually spawning, they're going to be even bigger and full of eggs, which is going to be crazy. So we're going to try and find another one like that, but bigger, full of eggs coming up. Thank you guys for watching. You know I appreciate it. Let me know if you want to see more crappie videos. We'll see you on the next one.